Please welcome to the stage your next contestant, Don Gibson. How are you? All right. I have recently started prank calling my grandmother. And that is better than therapy. She's 81, and she's wise. She's also one of the only people left that I know without caller ID. <laughs> I just call her up and go, stand by for savings. <laughs> She'll stay on the phone for 15 minutes. <laughs> Hello? This is stupid. That's how I stay level. <laughs> People are too mad anymore, man. I was riding my bike this last summer. A dude drove past me, leaned out his window, and went, Bang! <laughs> I can't begin to imagine the rage that man must keep inside of him all the time. He was on the opposite side of the road. <laughs> I wasn't involved in his life at all. <laughs> and he was alone in the car. No friend to impress. Just driving in silence saw me and was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> Not on my watch, sweetheart. <laughs> what made it more confusing was I stopped when it happened. And this hobo at a gas station went, was that your dad? <laughs> I'm like 70% sure it wasn't. <laughs> That's a terrible word. I don't even like to use it for that bit. Not fag, fag's great. <laughs> Hobo. <laughs> Hobo is the worst word. This is bullshit romantic word we use to completely ignore how awful it is to be homeless. What do you think of when you think of a hobo? Just this jovial, bearded, untamable tramp, hopping trains, having adventures, playing a harmonica? There's a homeless man from my hometown who's been arrested four times for trying to sodomize cats. That's not romantic. That's crazy. Do you understand how easy it should be to get away with raping a cat? <laughs> I'm not saying it's okay. <laughs> but they can't even describe you to the police. <laughs> Any four walls a shelter will do. <laughs> but it's no dice when you gotta do your feline fornicating in front of the post office. <laughs> and that's being homeless. This guy's not out under the open stars cooking up a can of beans. This dude is making local headlines for wearing a Skittles wrapper as a cock sock into the target. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta be honest with you. When I picture myself being really good at this whole comedy thing, or sports, or pleasing a woman, or really being really good at anything, in my head, I'm always a big black man. Which is tragic, because that is an unobtainable goal. <laughs> I can be a lawyer, a doctor, a sandwich artist. I cannot be a big black man. I've tried. I can't even get a tan. <laughs> I burn and I peel and I'm pale. And I peel like a biblical leper. Like something Jesus would have walked up to, like, bless you, my, oh, ew. <laughs> I got really sunburned about eight months ago, which is fucking pathetic, because that's November. Um, but I was peeling really bad. I had a big piece of skin come off. And before I could do anything about it, my cat ate it. It's gross, right? <laughs> Changed our whole relationship. She started following me around the house, staring. Like a bear at a twink. Just So, you son of a bitch, all these years, this whole time, you've been made of food. <laughs> My name's Donald Gibson, thank you very much. Don Gibson, everybody, let me hear it.
He's the big black man in all our hearts.